In this video, we are going to look at reflecting parabolas over the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, so let's start off by reflecting parabolas over the x-axis. In this case, the x-coordinates will stay the same and the y-coordinates will change sign. And a rule that is expressed in terms of the coordinates would be x, y goes to x, so the x coordinates stay the same, and the y coordinates change sign, so it goes from y to negative y. Okay, so if we look at what the reflection would look like, I'm reflecting over the x axis, so that means I'm folding along the x axis, okay, and then I have a mirror image across the x axis. So the turning point 3, negative 4 would go to 3, positive 4, okay, which sits over here. My x-intercepts wouldn't change. My y-intercept would go from 0, 5 to 0, negative 5. So the new graph reflected over the x-axis would sit there. Okay, and we see that reflection. And just to see the rules, how it works, my coordinate 3, positive 4. So if we look, the 3, the X coordinates stay the same, but the Y coordinates have a sign change. Okay, now it says determine the equation of G of X if it is the reflection of F of X equals X squared minus 6X plus 5 over the X axis. Okay, so over the X axis, I know the Y coordinate changes sign. So if I remember that F of X can be replaced with Y, G of X is now going to be not positive y, so not positive f of x, but negative f of x. Okay, so now I can just substitute f of x in place of f of x there. So it's x squared minus 6x plus 5. Distributing the negative, I'm left with negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. Okay. Right, then we are asked to determine the equation of g of x if it is the reflection of f of x, but now I'm dealing with the equation of the parabola in turning point form over the x-axis. So let's just see how this works with turning point form. Okay, so again, I've got g of x. It's a reflection of the x-axis, so it goes from positive f of x to negative f of x, showing the change in the, the sign of y. Okay. So if I substitute for f of x, I now have x minus 3 or squared minus 4. I distribute the negative and I have negative, then the bracket x minus 3 or squared, negative times negative gives me positive 4, and that is your final answer. Right, if we now look at reflecting parabolas over the y-axis, we need to remember that in this case, our y-coordinate stays the same, but the x-coordinates change sign. And our rule in terms of the coordinates is x, y goes to, now the x-coordinates will change sign, so it will go to negative x, and the y-coordinates stay the same at y. Okay, so reflecting over the y-axis means I fold along the y-axis. So I will have mirror image across the y-axis. So the, the turning point 3, negative 4 will go to negative 3, negative 4. My x-intercept 1 will go to negative 1. My x-intercept 5 will go to negative 5. Okay, so the graph will now sit here. So mirror image over the y-axis. Okay, and if we just compare the turning points, my new turning point is negative 3, negative 4. So the x-coordinates have changed sign, but the y-coordinates are the same. Okay, then it says determine the equation of g of x if it is the reflection of f of x, x squared minus 6x plus 5 over the y-axis. So we remember that the y-coordinates stay the same, but the x-coordinates change sign. So g of x is f of x, but where it goes from positive x to negative x. Now this means wherever I have an x, 
I'm going to be replacing it with negative x. So instead of x squared, I now have negative x squared. Instead of minus 6x, I have minus 6 times negative x plus 5. Simplifying this, negative x all squared becomes positive x squared. Negative times negative is positive 6x plus 5. Okay, the same scenario, but now I'm dealing with the turning point form of the equation. So it says determine the equation of g of x if it is the reflection of f of x equals x minus 3 squared minus 4 over the y-axis. Okay, so again g of x is the reflection of the y-axis. So me, my x-coordinates change sign. That means wherever I have an x, I'm going to be substituting it with negative x. Okay, now this you cannot leave like this because it's not in the typical turning point form. Okay, turning point form does not have a coefficient to x inside the bracket. So that means we need to factorize out the coefficient of x in the bracket. Okay, so I'm going to factorize out negative 1 and I'm left with positive x, positive 3, that is all squared, minus 4. So squaring a negative, it always becomes positive. So I'm left with x plus 3 all squared minus 4 as my final answer.